My friend Bible of Traditions has a video up dealing with what he considers to be the uh, last stages of the church or the church at Laodicea which is found in Revelations uh, chapter 3 verse 14 through 22. Uh, it being the last church I, I guess he has assumed that that would be the last church age and that we're living in that last church age today. Uh, I have a video up dealing with this topic of the uh, church stages and how people have tried to say that they would represent churches throughout different stages of history or through different periods of history and I do not hold to that theory the least bit. I think that what John was trying to do is to let us know of the conditions that existed in those seven churches during his time and that we could find something about those churches through all of the church history not just during John's time but throughout all of church history we could find some characteristics of those churches uh, but yet he in Bible of tradition seems to believe that we're living in uh, the last stage of church history now of the church of Laodicea and I just had a few questions I wanted to try to maybe he would try to be so kind and honest as to clarify for us he says that this last church stage began about 1840 but yet he gives absolutely no evidence as to where he could come up with the date of 1840 what is there in the history of the world you know that all of a sudden he just picked a date out of clean air and said okay 1840 begin the uh, last church age the Laodicean church so Bible of Traditions, maybe you could just somehow or another let us know how you came up with the date of 1840. Did you just put it out of the air, just using guesswork and speculation? Surely you aren't trying to add to and take away from the Word of God, are you? No, there's a clear, clear message at, at the end of the book of Revelation. Not to add to or take away from the book of this prophecy. It's talking about the book of Revelation. What I'm afraid you have done is added something to the book of Revelation that is not there. And even if we were living in the last church age, how did you come up with the date of 1840? Surely you'd have some evidence to show that. You just wouldn't guess, would you, and, make, and scare people with guesses and speculation. But then I got to thinking. And I went back and checked over my video. And I looked through all these people I that I looked up, the scholars that I looked up who who gave these what I feel are, are erroneous church uh, dates throughout all of history, but yet from all these scholars I never found any one of them even talking about 1840. But then I remembered about a year ago I discovered on your profile page the icon of the Seventh-day Adventist. I discovered on your profile page a link that led to a Seventh-day Adventist website with articles on there by Seventh-day Adventist members and leaders. So I was thinking, well, maybe he is a Seventh-day Adventist since you got all this material. So let me check in the history of the Seventh-day Adventists and see what they say about this church at Laodicea. Guess what I found, Bible Traditions? You said that that period of the last church of the church of Laodicea began in about 1840. Guess who began teaching this in about 1840? You sure it wasn't about 1844? See, William Miller met with Ellen White. That's how they first met was in the 1840s. And all of a sudden... Ellen White began teaching about the last church and the remnant church and how the Seventh-day Adventist was the church at Laodicea, the last church. She even talked about it and expounded on it more in Testimonies, Volume 3, page 252, talking about the Seventh-day Adventist being the Laodicean church. 
that began about, as you said, 1840. Of all the places I checked, of all the authors I checked, the Seventh-day Adventists are the only ones who say about 1840 is when the last church days began. And they gave no evidence either, other than guesswork by William Miller. So I suggest that all you're doing is guessing yourself. Surely you can show some evidence where the last church age began in 1840, besides speculation and guesswork. And if you cannot give some evidence that that is the time it began, then you have added to the word of God isn't there and that is exactly what Jesus warned about when he said do not take away or add to this book of prophecy or your name will be removed from the book of life please show us some evidence as to where you came up with this date of 1840 why don't you admit that you're just guessing and you're using speculation and that you have no evidence in all of history whatsoever that the last church age began in 1840 other than the writings of Seventh-day Adventist. Hold, 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 hold a fort a minute here. Hold, hold, hold a fort a minute, traditions. Hmm, I just backed up here and I was reading something. The church just before the Laodicean church. Listen to this. The church in Philadelphia. And to the angel of the church in Philadelphia write, He who is holy, he who is true, who has the key of David, who opens and no one shuts, and who shuts and no one opens. Who did Jesus give keys to? Bible of Traditions. Can you tell me that offhand? Who did Jesus give keys to? Continuing in verse 8, talking about this church. I know your deeds, and behold, I put before you an open door which no one can shut because you have a little power and you have kept my word and have not denied my name. Behold, I will cause those who are the synagogue of Satan who say they are Jews, but they are liars. Behold, I will make them come and bow down at your feet and to know that I have loved you because you have kept my commandments I will keep you from the hour of testing I wonder what church you could be talking about there Bible of Traditions who did Jesus give keys to Bible of Traditions the church that you slander the church that you make fabrications about I'm afraid you're in danger of having your name removed from the book of life because you, Bible of the Traditions, have added to the Word of God isn't there. Unless you can come up with some other way other than guesswork of Ellen White and, Jane and uh, William Miller of the Seventh-day Adventist, show us some historical proof that the last church days begin in 1840. I look forward to your response. Till next time, God bless.